to you. <laughs> it is Thursday morning and you guys have a two hour delay. That's why you're still here. Well, actually, you'd still be here anyway. I'd still because, be here anyway. Yeah, it's 10 of 9. You'd be actually walking up to the bus yeah, stop line. Yeah, right now. Is that right? But Brennan and Katie wouldn't still be here and they are currently still here. Oh, you're wondering why there's no cushion on the... The cat peed on the cushion. Not sure which one, if it was that one or that one. I have a feeling it was that one. He's been banished to the outside. Mom, you guys, so I'm not sure what to do. So it does not make any of us happy. We do not want our, cat, our house to smell like cat pee. That wouldn't be good. So if you guys have any advice down there, please comment below on what you have done, if you've done anything or why cats. I know, all right, all right, all right, we should be happy. All right, Brennan and Kate are getting ready to go to school. Adios, have a good day today. Edward. Mm. Thanks, my guy. Hey, you got your new sweatshirt on. Sweatshirt. That looks nice. Yep. You're rocking it? You. You're looking fresh? Mm-hmm. You finished? Uh, yeah, we're just about finished. We've, Ryan helped me uh, edit his vlog this morning. Hello and good morning. Hello and good morning. <laughs> Ryan's behind you. There we go. Look at him in his new fresh sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. Yo. So Mike, yeah. Ryan slept over at Charlie's on Saturday night. Yes. And his mom texted this morning, so there were a lot of boys that slept over and said, who is still letting their boys wear a size seven, eight jammy pants? And I laughed at it. And then I went in and I said, Ryan, whose are these? He said, they're mine. Oh, I have a lot of them. Yeah. Well, you might have some. Yeah. But I know you like them because no, they've got no, plain I, No, no, okay. So they were from when I was little, by the way. And Obviously. Yeah, and I didn't have any other jammies, so I was just like, alright, I'll put these on. That's totally cool. They're comfortable. You like them. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people still wear jammies that are small. Maybe. It's still plain jammies. <laughs> have a great day at school. I love you. Thanks. Now you're wearing a large boy's sweatshirt, so it's all good. Don't come back. Yes, come back soon. I love you. Miss you. Bye. Okay, here we are. It is, wow, it was snowing yesterday, and now it's 61 degrees out. It's fantastic. It's like it's summertime. So we're heading to gymnastics. There's Kate, a little tired because of her early morning uh, school routine. So she gets out of bed at, uh, I don't know, around 6 o'clock and uh, takes a little nap on her way to the gym. Busy young lady. Katie Kate! <laughs> Practice like a champion. <sighs> Alright, fire it up. This is where champions are made, right here. Mm hmm. I guess. Love that girl. All right, you guys, good afternoon. School is over. Time for practice. Brennan's heading out to water polo. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, what are you looking forward to today at water polo? Going early. <laughs> Getting there early? Oh, is that where you're going? You're not gonna go downtown? You're gonna go to water polo? Oh, very good. You do a little workout? Sure. Oh, good. How's your wrist feeling? All right. The king of one word answers. <laughs> Brennan, can you elaborate? No. <laughs> Wow, we're gonna. We're just talking about colleges right now. We're looking through colleges. Uh -huh. There might be a college interview you might need to work on. So we might do some interview. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure interviews. You're what? I'm not sure interview. <laughs> okay, he can talk. He's a bit of a magpie sometimes. Not right now. What's that mean? A magpie is a kind of an animal. I think it's a bird, and it a lot. So when you say he's a magpie, it means he talks a lot. He's a soccer team. They call them magpies. Are you serious? Are they like professional soccer? Okay, we're heading off to water polo and Ryan is here. He's gonna stay. Brennan, do you want to start the car for me? Yeah. Thank you. The top's down. You want to see it? Did you notice that? Oh, no, we don't have to drive top down if you don't want to. I'll put it down. I'll put it You put it up? Okay. Brennan's a little bit um, wimpy when it comes to cold. Let me see. I'm in my heat. Look at it. Yesterday, we had a snow day. Look at there's snow on the ground. Yesterday, we had a snow day. Today, top down. All right, here we are, picking up Katie. And there she is, young lady from Maryland, Oxford University. There she is. So ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think that I want to self-tan myself. Really? Let's just go to Florida and go to the beach. To be honest, I would. Mm -hmm. 
But like we're not going to Florida. Oh, <laughs> so. we are going to Florida. When? We're going to uh, Playlist. Yeah, when? Well, like next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we're leaving leave a week from Friday, as a matter of fact. All right, heading home. Bam! Crank up the music. Cat. Pea cat. Hey! You making progress? Yeah. Good man. Hey, what's going on down there? Some, Some chips? Dead chips. chips? I dropped chips. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. Yes, yes. Is that your, um, is that your agenda that you wrote down? Yeah. Fantastic. You're making me happy because, uh, you didn't pee on the couch like the cats did. Okay, well, How close are you to done? I'm really close. All right, pea cat. What are you looking for? Food. Did you start with a cookie? Is that what you did? There's Ryanardo. What did you do today, Ryan? Anything? Yeah. What'd you do? I learned. You learned? Yeah. Oh, good. So I school for it. Yes. I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. What's the biggest thing you learned today? Um, to not mess with Ms. Pressure. Oh. My science teacher. Did you mess with her? Whoa. Did sounds you like, mess with her? Sounds like a story. It does sound like a story. What happened? Okay, so. Don't get mad. Don't uh, get I'm mad. Not, okay, so. Don't tell them. If they, if they might go down, don't, don't hey. tell them. Is that the right thing? Right in. Yep. Let's make solid. That's true. Let's assume he's innocent. I mean, yeah. I'm assuming you're innocent. Yeah. I mean, if anything I say or do can be uh, held against me in a court of law. And, I'll just keep my mouth shut. What this happened, right? This is not a point of law, and this is not this this house does not fall under the rule of American law. Well, I'm your mom, he's your dad. It's mommy daddy law. Exactly. Are you picking his lawyer? No way. Under the Fourteenth Amendment, <laughs> the, the Bill of Rights is incorporated down to the states because of the equal due process clause. Excuse me. So, um. Therefore, the Fifth Amendment does apply to here, whether the law be to the state, the but not state. necessarily our what house. What he said. Our house, our house is like the Vatican. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Do you not want to share your story of what happened? All right. Well, anyway, this person, uh, your science teacher. Right. So my science teacher. Um. Well, so we were all chilling in class, and the class was being bad. I was, I was fine. Class was being bad, and um, uh -oh. she said, "Everyone get in your seats. If I see someone move." I'm gonna be mad. And she never told the total consequence, she just said, I'm gonna be mad. Well, anyway, like five minutes passed by, and she seemed to be fine. She was just chilling on her desk. And then I went over to my friend's Tanner, friend Tanner. I didn't even get up, but I looked back, and then I had to get up. Um, you got attention. I forget what I was doing, but I got up and went to Tanner. And then she goes, Ryan, 10 minutes. <gasps> oh. And I'm like, what's 10 minutes? She goes, up front at lunch. I'm like, oh. and I'm like, really? And I'm, she's like, yeah. And then <laughs> I'm like, and then Peyton does the same thing from Peyton. He gets 10 minutes. And I'm like, you know, and me and Peyton, we do a little thing. And we say, all of our friends need to get 10 minutes. So, so just everybody so that. everyone just started like getting out of their shit. Like, all, like my whole friend group. It's oh, like, oh, wow. everyone got out of that sounds like a revolt. It does sound like a revolt. That's smart. And then, so literally, <laughs> she's so, and yeah, it's so like, <laughs> exactly, so they're like, oh, you just sit up, like, in front of the school at lunch, and it's like this little, like, the dunce, the dunce table, yeah, up, like, next to the administrators, but our whole lunch table is in that class, but we literally just took our lunch table and moved it to the front, and nobody cares who's at the front. Wow. Did you apologize to your teacher for being disrespectful? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah sorry. You did? Wow. Uh, did you say sorry? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're better than that, Ryan. And then, no, because my whole friend group is smart. And I'm like, get 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, and 10 minutes is like a joke. Let's call his teacher and apologize. Like, no, no. So hard. What happened to him? No. no. He, had. He, had, he had such promise. <laughs> he did. Shoot. <laughs> How are you doing down here, sweet pea? Pretty well. Oh, good. You finished up homework? I'm looking at UC San Diego right now. Oh, we're doing the college look. We're trying to figure out... This summer, we're gonna do some college visits. So we're trying to figure out which ones to go to, or Brennan's trying to figure out which ones to go to. I, How does UC San awesome. Diego look? Can you please get, wanna go somewhere in Hawaii so we can go there? <laughs> I'm literally further away from here. 
I know, I'm just teasing. I'd like to visit there. We won't tell dad we're not gonna go there. We'll just be like, hey, yeah, we just wanna visit Hawaii because we think Brenda might wanna go to the University of Maui. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> San Diego sounds pretty good though. Hey, I know, you sweet thing. You sweet thing. All right, Brendan, you wanna share what made you happy today? practice actually the delay today yeah, oh this morning yes yeah. two hour delay that's right I forgot that seems like forever and a day ago all right well have a good night's sleep I hope you get he said he had a great night's sleep yesterday because of the delay and he went to bed early but now it's 10 30 you think you can go to bed now yeah. I think you should did you finish your homework yeah. all right congratulations yeah. this is the list of Brennan's schools that we're going to be looking at. well we've got three yeah. pages yeah okay good night sweet dreams I love you See you in the morning. <laughs> All right, you guys. Okay, no. This was a terrible thing, a terrible discovery. I just came up to see if Fred or Ryan wanted to share what made him happy. I'm like, "All right, let's turn the light on, sweet pea, if you want to. You don't have to. He's tired." Look what I found sitting next to his bed. Pixie sticks. Okay, okay, okay. That's how you get That's totally how you get cavities. Pixie sticks that, and sweet tarts okay. and a nasal spray. But what the heck? Okay, okay. So, my art teacher had a raffle and <sighs> instead of um, putting on my art tickets, uh, that she calls them. In the raffle, I decided, uh, so you can either, like, raffle for, like, a big candy prize, or you can just, like, pay a couple art tickets for, like, regular candy. And there are pixie, sti pixie sticks there, and I love pixie sticks, but I don't really see them that often. So I was like, I had, like, 20 art tickets, so I'm like, bet. I just threw 20 art tickets in, picked my 20 Pixie sticks, get, gave some out of school, uh, ate some, and I just put them next to my bed. Next to your bed, probably the worst place they could be. They should be next to your toothbrush. So you can eat a pixie <laughs> stick and then brush your teeth. <laughs> Goofball. Please don't eat those before you go oh, to bed. Are you ordering now? No. No. Don't, do, uh, don't, uh, don't, uh, wait a minute. First you get in trouble in science and now you're gonna eat a pixie stick right in front of me? You are turning into a little bit of a rebel. There you go. All right, you wanna share what made you happy? No. All right. Very All right. good. Good. All right. Can I see James? I love you. Oh, whoops. Maybe happy day was um, getting 10 minutes <laughs> at lunch. <laughs> All my friends got 10 minutes. Now we're going to all sit together. Is it tomorrow that you have to do it? Tomorrow. You're so goofy. All right. Be nice right. and respectful to your teacher, okay? And okay. serve your 10 minutes and move on. <laughs> love you. Love you. Mm. Okay, just went in to uh, get Katie's um, What Made Her Happy Today, which probably would have been hanging out with Dad, driving back and forth from the gym. Aww. <laughs> that wasn't very humble. Um, what made me happy today was hanging out with Kate and being in the car just hanging out and talking and um, getting back and forth from the gym. Had a great day today. It was nice and warm, very spring-like, so there's a little hope for everybody mm -hmm. who's got the winter blues. Spring is right around the corner. We talked a little bit about um, getting some sun in Florida. We're going next week, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Comment below what made you happy today, and we'll see you manana. I didn't share what made me happy. All right, so Dad said that he went in to get Katie's What Made Her Happy. He forgot to tell you she's asleep. That's why she didn't share what made her happy. Oh, yeah. But what made me happy today, I had a great day today. Um, two things made me happy. I had a fantastic run. I'm trying to get back into shape, number one. And number two, I was able to drive with my top down. I didn't mm -hmm. film that, but I did show you guys my car with the top down. So yesterday we had a snow day and this kid's um, school was canceled. And we had what, four inches of snow, Mike? Yeah. Four inches of snow and today, top down. Oh, did you happen to show the- um, no, our snowmen. Our snowmen. Our snow snowballs. Oh, they're snowballs now. It's really sad. I'll show you that and then we'll say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye, but it's time. All right, you guys, can you see that? Hold on. Oh, looky there. Mine's on the right. That's Sandy. On the left. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Good night. Anyway, so that was very fun. If you didn't see that video, take a look at it. It was yesterday, Mike, and I had a snowman making contest. I'm not going to tell you who won. <laughs> but you can take a guess. All right, you guys. So we hope you had a wonderful Thursday. The weekend's just around the corner. Comment below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.